Alright, information and problem solving. All information in information that wants to collect from information is an uh, integral part of problem solving. Explain the concept of problem solving in the context of information technology. Why? These questions I just like let's see how much words we can throw at them. Um Problem solving is the process of collecting information via analysis and coming up with a more appropriate solution. Yeah, coming up with a more appropriate solution for that problem. Again, just keep throwing words and you should be okay with it. Collect information, come up with a solution. Some way you have to con consider like explain. explain two ways other than problem solving in which information is used to fulfill the goals of an organization. In two years other than problem solving. What? Wow. Two ways other than problem solving, which information is used to fulfill the goals of an organization. I what kind of person is it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, there's plenty of things. So I, I have to have the answers for other than problem solving. Alright. I think what they want you to see is decision making because when you get a lot of information you have to take the information and make decisions about it right. yeah and everything centered around decision making um let me put um enhancements to the organization enhancement enhancing services yeah all right so decision making the information three marks you know like you have plenty but is the information gathered would allow them to be able to analyze it to make decisions about the future um endeavors yeah yeah um right and then enhancing services the information and critical feedback where you put a nice big word here critical kind of big feedback would give insight about what changes they can be in order to enhance the quality of service. Alright, for some reason I feel like we should try to put some examples because the answers for this, you really had to pull them out, you really had to give answers for this. So give an example to help you out, help you out. Example, um, changing uh, supplier because of price, right? And then for enhancing services, um, example, designing website for greater usability. Yeah! Alright, that's all that she is asking there. But we'll take it, we'll take it, we'll take it all in stride. Are you good then? <laughs> Alright, the mortgage department of a bank calculates the monthly payments of customers based on the amount of money borrowed from the following list. Complete the period below by specifying three cosmetic desirable and three essential. Oh, this cake man, easy stuff, easy stuff. What we're trying to do? The mortgage department of a bank. They're trying to calculate your monthly payment and the amount of money borrowed. They're trying to calculate your monthly payment. Easy. The essential things that you need. Clearly, you need the name of the customer. Don't put them in not like right here. Name of customer. Essential. Current contact information. Desirable. Medical records. Like, why do I need the medical records? No, really. Maybe I might need it just in case I know you. Like, if you're good and if you have a terminal disease, you might be able to pay more. So that's desirable. Model of house selected. That will definitely be essential. Yeah. Data of birth. Uh, do I need a data of birth to calculate the mortgage? Yeah, I need to know how long I give me the mortgage for. Hmm. Data of birth. Calculate the monthly payments of customers based on the amount of money for. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't need data of Maybe I need data of birth. I like the data of birth under cosmetic card. You don't really need that to do the calculation. The calculation can happen without that. Customer's picture. That's desirable. I already need a picture. Preferred location. I feel that we need the data bit and I'll change the data bit to desirable because you, 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 if once you pass 60 you wouldn't be able to work again to pay your mortgage so if they know your data bit and they can't give you a 30 year mortgage if you're already like you know 50 years old that'll be kind of but your data bit will be desirable preferred location what would be the point of getting the preferred location and pricing yeah 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 all right we, we, we get our desirable we get our desirable boy the contact information right now i'm trying to figure out what's the cosmetic things because everything they're looking either essential or desirable are you salary or the customer you need that no do i need it? if i go down and calculate your monthly payment i'll need to know how much money you're working for so that I could tell you if you could get or not. No, 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 no. They say they calculate it based on the amount of money borrowed, so it doesn't matter. They just calculate how much based on the amount of money borrowed. All right, so salary of the customer is cosmetic. Size of family, cosmetic. They ain't really need to know that. Cost of house, they don't need to know the cost of the house either because they just need to know the amount of money borrowed. So cost of house is cosmetic too. Yeah, you got some, okay, you got some fluidity with the um the picture. The picture could be cosmetic too. Although if they want to run you down for the money, you need to have, you need to have the picture so it's desirable. Don't have that model of the house. Why? Why would the model of the house be 
essential. You must not be house you not gonna be essential because they just want to know the amount based on the amount of money borrowed. Hmm. I I feel me model the house will be cosmetic and model of the house doesn't matter because all they want to know is the amount of money you borrowed and how much payments you have to give back. Guys, guys, yeah, they, so, but then it, it only have it will only have two essential things. Right now it only have two essential things and we need to have three. Right, so let's let's put um let's put current contact information as essential because if you can't pay, if you can't, if we don't um get your contact information and you don't pay us, we have to find we have to contact you to get the money. So the name of the customer, the contact information and mm -hmm. um I don't I don't know. And then he did something for me. Well, we just cal well basically it says you're calculating their monthly payments. You're not you're not telling them um if they qualify or not to know all you're doing is you're checking to see all right how much money you want to borrow this is how much money you're going to have to pay after that when you want to check to see if they qualify then you will need their salary all right so if 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 the if the, the, the bank calculating the amount amount of money that you had to pay based on the amount of money borrow right? all they need to know is all right what the, the you, you want to borrow five million dollars this is how much you're going to have to pay that's all they need so far because they just want to calculate the amount of monthly payments today they'll say for this house you have to pay um six thousand dollars a month they don't need a salary to do that they just need to know how much money you, need to, you want to get yeah. Yeah. yeah that's the problem like plenty, real plenty of students ain't gonna know about how, how mortgages work now because not big people don't know how mortgages work so this question is a trap that is a, a big a big heavy like trap though so let's look at the words again you get real clear they want to calculate monthly payments based on the amount of money you want to borrow so they need to calculate the monthly payments based on the amount of that's the problem they ain't saying that they are approving the loan or anything because if they were approving it if they were approving it then they would need to um contact you and all that kind of stuff but the bank just wants to calculate monthly payments what do i need what is essential for me to calculate the monthly payment in order for me to calculate the monthly payments i need to know the amount of money that you that you're going to borrow the amount of money that you're going to borrow is going to be definitely linked to the type of house selector so that's essential i need your contact information because i can't not get your contact information and i, I can't not get your name mm -hmm. yeah that's true that's true salary of the customer would be essential I like. then what is the next cosmetic one the preferred location would be cosmetic all right so i'll put the preferred location as cosmetic i'll change the salary to essential and um mm -hmm. all right let's start this over all right so let's take it from the top in order for me to calculate the amount, of money, the amount of money borrowed, the amount of money that you need to borrow will be determined by the house that you get. So the house that you get will determine the amount of money that you have to borrow. So therefore, the model of the house that you get is essential because that will determine the amount of money that you borrow. The location that the house is in, that will determine the amount of money also because they will have a particular um, a price or well, a particular um, price depending on where, where, where you are and then what else is going to determine the price of the house because on that what is what is going to determine the price the cost of the house yes right that's essential that's going to let that 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 will deal with this part here the amount of money that i have to borrow we the only way we'll know the amount of money that i had to borrow is if we know the model of the house the location of the house and the cost of the house that will give you a, a, a like a final cost to be like okay this cost this house costs so much because this is the model that you chose this is the location that it's in and this is the price that it's supposed to go at. cool those things essential now we figure out the amount of money that, that they want to borrow now we're trying to figure out the monthly payments what will be desirable to be able to get these monthly payments when the people have to make their monthly payments what do they have to do we need to be able to get their information from them so we will need their contact information but we are getting monthly payment from them we will need we'll need a picture because if if they don't pay we need to be able to know who we who, who, who didn't pay and we could run them down and what else would be a problem for monthly payment the salary of the customer yeah the salary of the customer will definitely be desirable because we have to know your salary to know if you could pay good everything else will be cosmetic with name of Customer, customer's picture, liable to email, customer, customer's picture, contact information, value of customer. Yeah. Alright, so let me see what is cosmetic. Eat up boot. Not trying to figure out how long you're going to pay for. So even though yeah data booth enough for you so that's cosmetic medical records cosmetic you don't need to know that for you to first you to get the monthly payment size of family cosmetic too all right i feel like it although i'm positive that there would be a lot of argument and discussion about it amongst examiners to determine what is the was the correct answer because i watch any answers that they have here for cxe and it's not it's not this but i would argue that yeah all right so essential is model of house i'll tell you i'll tell you which ones you could swap you could swap if you if you have an app right model of house preferred location but this be the issue i have a lot with um with some of these questions they expect 
and knowledge of, of so many different things without giving the, the context could be a, could have been a lot closer it could have given a lot more context so that they're able to do better but this just kind of make you think okay do they have the mortgage yet do they not have the mortgage yet what do you have to do so you really have to pull out the keywords inside you really really have to pull out the keywords desirable would be the name of customer you don't really need the name of the customer to do the calculation but it would be very good to get that on contact information they could contact them to tell them how much money i pay um picture even though i think picture, picture should be a picture could be cosmetic and salary right? all the things desirable and then all the um Cosmetic stuff now with the piece of food, I medical record, and then size of family. Yeah. Right, so five minutes now. Let me hear. Oh, it makes sense. It makes sense. Good. Uh, you rationalize it out. Yeah, but that's not, a, that's not a nice question. Distinguish between essential and cosmetic information. All right, essential. Um, you cannot solve the problem without the cosmetic. Um, if you don't know it, it will not affect the outcome at all. Okay. All right, describe one category of information other than those mentioned. We have essential, desirable, cosmetic, and all. Damn, I forget we have something. Yeah. Essential. Extraneous. Extraneous has nothing to do with the solution at all. Um, yeah, you can't say this thing. This thing goes up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, that's cool, that's cool. You can mention the um, look and feel. Yeah, mention the look and feel. All right, let's go again. Number part C. Computer programs are developed following a number of stages. Let's do stages in the program development process. Um, right, you're, you're going to tell me what do you hear? E analyze, develop, implement, and test, and then review, review and maintenance. Yeah. State one tool that is used in each of the two stages. Oh, any tool. All right, so I'm um, going go with uh, it for each one of them. Align, you use case tool. Uh, design, you use the, well, develop, you use a case tool. No, so actually, actually, no, for the for develop, you use a, um, a IDE, uh, integrated development environment, or you can say programming language. Um, for implement and review, implement and test, sorry, you could use case tool for game, debugging case tool and um, yeah yeah usually case tools are uh, used most of the time so case tools would be good answers for most part because case tools kind of span far and wide in how, how you solve these problems or how you do the, the development process the program development process um all right define the term Did I get yeah yeah prototype and software yeah that's good all right define the term algorithm um a sequence of stats solve the problem in a finite amount of time. The three properties of a well-designed algorithm, it is finite, precise, unambiguous, law of control, um, termination, any one will be, any three will be okay. Three ways of representing algorithms or programs, you have narrative, pseudo code, flowcharts, oh no, not flowcharts, diagrammatically, and program code, programming languages. Um, well, you're a big boy now, so diag there, there are different diagrams besides flowcharts. You have data flow diagrams, you have flowcharts, you have all sorts of different diagrams so diagrammatically is the more correct right, they might give it i don't know they might. um explain the relationship between an algorithm and a program an algorithm is a precursor to a program it lays out the steps to be followed while making it easier to be converted to a programming language in the logic is figured out beforehand right so usually you write the algorithms to figure out the logic and then once you figure out the logic all you have to do is translate it to a language which makes it easier because you'll only have to worry about syntax errors but the logic algorithms give you the logic and they allow you to test to make sure it will do what it's supposed to do by doing like um, test checks and those other stuff. yeah mm -hmm. that's good you have it you have it it, it, it just kind of it kind of janky but <laughs> you see that. uh part c examine the algorithm shown below explain the function of the algorithm shown as explain by all right what we're doing here we get in we start our count at zero we count zero zero our count is less than five we find in the sum of five numbers and printing it out so collect five numbers and find the sum then 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 print the total for the user yeah how is four marks i don't know but that's exactly what the thing do you five numbers find the sum and then print the total for the user just remember for these you can't you can't just explain well initialize everything to zero while count is less than five you can't just save back the algorithm 
you gotta say what it's doing for the function. So you gotta, yeah, you gotta kind of get it in a sentence. If you don't get it in a sentence, they won't, they won't take the step by step breakdown. Um, we're reaching now. Okay, use the algorithm above to determine the missing values. I guess they probably wanted to put an M inside there. The missing values. Yeah, in the table. Wow. It's not usual that you see grammatical errors and I see it. You'll see ambiguous questions, but it's not usual. They'll see if it's one thing they'll do good, they'll do proof you didn't like you know if it's grammatical error. Mm -hmm. The 18 is a hard year, but anyway. Um use the algorithm, you know, to determine the missing values. So the count inside here is going to go from zero to four. So that's definitely zero, one, two, three, four. You can clearly see that because it's starting at zero here. Yeah. And it's going to less than five, which will be four. Read n if we get n as 4 the first count will be n plus 0 and it'll be 4 in order for total to get to 5 you have to add 1 so that'll be 5 and when you add 1 to 6 you'll get 7 and 7 to 10 will be 17 and then 17 plus 7 should be 24 yeah i knew that i totally knew that i was just testing yeah but then we have no i guess the 17 you add 7 yeah. and then 7 plus 17 no you get an next 7 no, 17 plus 7 you'll get 24 yeah. right so i still correct good yeah, good yeah, yeah. oh yes 6 plus 11 would be yeah, 7, yeah. So then, right, so then you add in the 7 to the 17 and you get 24, right there. So you're basically adding, going like that. We add the 0 to the 4, and then we add 1 to get 5, and then you get the 5, 1, 6, 11, 6, right here, good, yeah. Right, so that would be. Um, state the final value of count when the algorithm ends. And a wicked question is that, well, the final value of count would eventually be 5, yeah, it will be 5. Because it have to reach 5, and it reaches 5, it will. It will go back up and the condition will say yeah we done the count will reach to five and any while loop will say hey, five is not less than five so therefore we print total yeah so count will reach to five and there you have it kick yes people had some rough questions it has some rough questions inside